guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and I have a new project to share with you today. So this is just a fun little cute project. Um, it is going to be for Halloween and I'm going to make a coffin with a lid and then inside the coffin will be a coffin shaped mini album. So it's just going to be kind of fun. So I have created this set of SVG files to make the mini album and also the little box. So SVG files are scalable vector graphic files for electronic cutting machines. So I use a Cricut. And the only thing you really need to know how to do is how to change these lines in here um, or on these little pockets here to score lines and attach them. So to do that, I've done a video before, not on how to do this particular project, but another one. So I'll try and remember to link that below so you can go and have a look at that one and see how you attach the um, score lines to your piece. And so I have not done this as a PDF printable template yet. I thought I'd wait and see if anybody was interested before I went to and did that. So if you are interested in a PDF of this um, project, let me know in the comments below. Um, if I do a PDF, I'm going to leave out these fancy pockets here and I might do the tombstone, but I won't do the, the cutout RAP in it. I'll make it a bit more simple for you so that you can cut it out by hand. But anyway, the pieces that are in grey, I have cut out of cardstock and I have cut it out of black cardstock. And the cardstock I use generally is this um, cardstock here. So it's Black Recollections cardstock and it's about 180 GSM or I think it was 76 pounds. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I've used for the mini album pages. And then for the box itself, I've used a little bit um, of this other cardstock, which is textured, which isn't my choice, but it's a bit thicker. I don't know how thick it is because it doesn't say anywhere on the packet, but if you're in Australia, this is just the stuff from Kmart, the 12 by 12, and it comes in, you know, a big packet for $16 of, you know, three or four pages of each of the different colors. So that's what I've used to make the box. The orange pieces on top are the mats, so you don't have to measure those or anything either. And um, I've just downloaded some paper from, I bought a downloadable pack from Etsy. I can't remember what it was called, but I'll try and remember to link it below. But it's just really cute and fun. Um, here's some little scrappy bits I've got left. So it's not usually, this isn't necessarily the kind of paper that I'd normally use, but I just felt like doing something really fun and cute. So it's polka dots and skeletons and, and booze and um, little ghosts and things like that. So anyway, I'll try and remember to link it below, but I just thought it was really cute. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the coffin. So for each of the pieces that you need, I will write down in the description box below how many of each piece I cut out so you don't need to try and remember to write it down. And then I'll just keep this here so I can point to which ones I'm using. So we're going to make the coffin base. So under this orange bit is a grey bit and I've cut out one of those. Let me find my bits, shall I? I've got that one and I've got that one. I think that's all I need. This is my coffin base. So that's the grey piece under there. I've cut one of those out. And then I've cut out two of the coffin base top and bottom. So one for the top and one for the bottom. And they are these ones here. They've got a tab on either side. So there's two of those. Like that. I've cut out two of the long sides. That's these two here. And then two of the short sides. And that's these two here. Okay, so I've cut all of those out. So let me pop this to the side. I'll leave it here in case I want to refer to it. And we're just going to put all of these pieces together. So, I need some glue. So the glue I've got in here is Tiger Grip Glue by Helmer. And if you're in Australia again, you can get this at Spotlight. Um, and if you're in other parts of the world, then you just use whatever glue you like to use. And... Um, you know, um, 
I've heard that in, in some places um, people get um, t uh, art glitter glue and that's supposed to be really fabulous. And I can get it here, it's just really, I have to wait and be patient and order it online and wait for it to come from the eastern states and it takes ages. We don't have Amazon Prime here where you can get something in a day, just, it just doesn't happen. Especially in, um, I think if you lived in Sydney, you could, but in Perth, not so much. So I'm just putting some glue on here and attaching this side to here. So the reason that these sides are separate and is because otherwise it wouldn't fit on a 12 by 12 sheet. So there's a tab here that's got little edges notched out of it. That's the side that we're attaching. This bit here is just, um, we're going to just attach that to, um, basically just going to fold it down and attach it to itself to give it a little bit more strength. So with the, the sides that are notched out, this is the side that I'm attaching here. And I'm attaching it underneath because I think it makes it a bit stronger. And I'm also going to put a mat on this side so you won't see these tabs once we finish with it. I think I need my, my um, bone folder. Okay. And then we have our top and our bottom. So once again, I'm going to put glue on this notched side, not on the straight side. So I'm just going to put a glue up, a bit of glue on there. And I'm going to attach one to the top. Like something like that. And then I'm going to do the same with this piece, but on the bottom of my little coffin. I'm going to pop that one on here. I'm just lining it up as best I can. Okay. And then these guys here, we're attaching, oops, we are attaching this um, section here again with the notches out. Um, and we're going to attach it so that we um, have this tab here poking down. So not necessarily great because I'm having to put down my texture so I should have flipped it on the mat but never mind. Okay so I'm just going to attach it onto here like this. I went to um, a scrapbook store to try and find some Halloween paper. They had nothing. Absolutely nothing. So anyway um, I went back to my usual and bought something online um, digital off Etsy. Uh, which is, you know, it's fine. I, I use just about all the time I use, um, I'd say 90% of the time I use digitals off Etsy. And there's so many choices and I love digitals because I can just print and print and print and have as many pages of the same thing as I like. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue on these tabs and attach them to this bit and I'm again going to put them on the outside. I'm going to put them on the outside of the inside. I might put them on the inside. So I'm going to turn that little flap over and put a bit of glue on there and then I'm just going to bring these two sides together like so. Like so. Better than that. <laughs> and I'm just going to put those together. And I'm going to just do that all the way around basically so I'm going to do the same on here I'll flip that over put some glue on here and bring those two together might need to just hold it for a minute until it catches or you could put a bulldog clip or something there just get that to catch okay and then I'm going to bring these up on this side and so I'm going to put some glue on here. I put my dogs outside. I tried three times to start this video and <laughs> they just kept barking so I put them outside. Now I can hear them barking outside. So I've just put that tab on the inside on the bottom there and then the same on this side. It's pretty self-explanatory. 
I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs barking too I apologize I didn't do a very good job of lining that up but that's okay you'll you won't know in the end and then I'm going to do the same on this side So I'm going to bring this up. Oh, I put the glue on the wrong side, didn't I? Um, need something to wipe it off. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to wipe this off. I'm so busy yapping and listening to the dogs and hoping that you can't hear them, but you probably can. So I'm going to just put some glue on that one. And some glue on this one. And bring that up and stick it into place and this one as well now I haven't necessarily lined it up too well but I can live with it because I think you won't really notice once it's done okay so then we're just going to go around all of these tabs. I'm going to start on some ones where it's holding the holding a tab down. So you can see this tab here we've just stuck onto here. So I'm going to start by folding those over because I sort of help to hold that tab into place as well if you get my drift. So let's start by just flipping these out so I can get to them. I'll put some glue on this tab along here and then I'm just going to bend over and seal it down. It's just giving our um, little coffin here a little bit more strength around the edges and I'm just going to do that all the way around. Okay so I've just gone around and folded down those edges and sealed them down with some glue just to give a little bit more strength to the edges of our um, little coffin base. So then we can put some mats on here. So I've already cut out some of the mats. So I've got these ones here which are kind of cute and fun. So for the base I've cut out um, four of each one. No, that's not right. Two. I've cut out two for each piece. So one for one side and one for the other. So for these ones here, there's four of the long sides. There's um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two. There's four of the short sides and four of these ones and then two of this one here. So I'll write it all down though because I feel like I just confused myself, let alone you guys. So I've decided to go with the dark colour on the inside and then this kind of funky chevron for the outside. So I'll just go ahead and put my mats on and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I have just gone ahead and put my little mats on the inside and the outside of my coffin base. And then the coffin lid, I've already gone ahead and made it, but it's exactly the same process as what we did here. Um, we just cut out these bits here. And I'll write again in the description box how many of each you need to make the coffin lid. But here's my little lid here. So I'm going to pop that on there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and I really like the size of this because you can still put 6x4 um, photos in here if you want to um, as well as obviously littler ones but I, I think it's kind of cute so that's the box for our little um, mini album so let's make the mini album now so for this mini album I'm starting off by making the cover so I'm just getting rid of all these bits all over the place um, I've, I've cut out some base pages. Oh, I was going to just mention, on this little box here, I might give it a little spray with a bit of varnish, clear varnish, and it just makes your box a little bit harder. And it also brings out the colour of the paper a little bit more and protects it. So I'll probably take this outside and give it a little spray with this um, spray varnish. Um, and I just thought I'd mention that. So that's that one there. 
Okay, so now I've got a heap of bits and pieces to cut out here to make my album. I'm going to start with the base page. So this is the base page here. It's got this little flap on it. On the picture it's that way, but it doesn't matter which way you have it. Okay, so I'll cut that out of my cardstock. Now, I could use that as my cover, but I thought I might want to make my cover a little more sturdy. So what I did was I got a piece of chipboard, um, or you could use a cereal box or anything you like, or you don't have to do it all. And I traced around my base page with the flap, with the whole flap bent over and in like so. So then I just laid it on my um, piece of chipboard and traced around it and then I cut it out with my craft knife. And now I'm going to cover it with a bit of paper. So I've already done one, so you can see this is one that I've covered and you, you know I haven't covered it on the back. So I'm just going to do that. So this is one of the pages that I've printed out with cats and bats and pumpkins and ghosts and stars and I'm going to just use my Yoohoo glue and I'm just going to cover this up. Now, like I say, you don't have to do this. You can just use the base page as a cover and call it done. I just thought it might be nice to have a thick um, chipboard sort of a cover. We'll see how that works out for me. So I'm just putting some glue all the way around. And then I'm just going to flip it over and stick it down. So this is an A4 page, so it fits pretty well on an A4 page. Let's give it a smooth. I'll just flip it over. Let's grab my white because it's just easier to run your hand over it with my little rag. Just make sure it's pretty well stuck down. And then I'm just going to trim around it. I don't know, what's that? Maybe half an inch, maybe a bit more. Just enough so you can um, fold it over and glue it down. Like so. And then here, I'm just going to just do put a little snip in there and a little corner out of there, a little corner out of there, a little, oop, a little snip just there and there, and then I'll take a corner out of here. Probably could have done a bit more. And a little corner out of here. Okay, let's scrappy bits and get rid of those. And then I'm just going to put some glue around the edge here. And I'm just going to fold it up and just give it a little hand there and I'll use my bone folder to make sure it's pressed up really nicely against the edge and then I'll push it on over and seal it up and do this all the way around Got a little bit dangling off the edge here, so I'll just get some scissors and just trim that off. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then along here. My dog seems to have gone a bit quiet, which is good. And um, I've got my clothes dryer going in the background as well. It's just been miserable and raining today, so I couldn't get my washing on the line. So 
slide that down. And this one. Fold that one down. And then the last bit here. Slide that over there. Fold that one down. Give it a burnish. Okay, then we can get rid of this glue. And then I'm just going to run around the edge like this and it just gives you a nice flat edge which I think is a, a nice way to finish it. And along there, and along there. And then the only other thing I want to do is, look I've made a mark on there already. I don't know how I do it. it doesn't matter how clean I try to be. I'm just going to distress my edges a little bit because you know it looks a little bit too perfect. Maybe I'll it will make my little gluey mess there not so obvious. So I was look I would, um noticed that there's quite there are quite a few um, videos on YouTube on how to make little coffin albums or journals and things like that. So. I'm certainly um, not doing anything particularly original, but I wanted to make one and I always make SVGs when I make something because, you know, it saves me having to, if I want to do it again, I can and I don't have to do any measuring. I measure it once while I create the SVG and then it's done and I can make as many as I like. So there we go. So I've got a front and a back here and here. I think they're so nifty. Okay, so now we can put our pages together. So if this one's gonna be my back, then this one will be my front. And what I've what I'm going to do is attach some base pages. So the grey bit under here is the base page. So um, you can probably make as many as these as you like. Um, until you can't fit any more in your coffin box basically. So I'm going to take one of these base pages and I'm going to attach it to the back of this little cart, this little piece of chipboard that I've just made. So I'm just going to put some glue all the way around here. And I think I need to pick it up. <laughs> it's easier. Okay, so then I'm going to take my base page and I'm going to keep my tab on this side and I'm going to line this up and the most important bit to line up is this edge where this um, tab is. So I'm going to make sure that's really well lined up. And then if the rest is out I can just trim it because I might not have done a really great job of lining up my <clears throat> when I was tracing around it. And that's okay, we can trim it off. See, I'm out here, I can see a little bit hanging off there. And I probably could have straightened it up, but this glue sticks so quick. So I'm just going to make sure that that's attached. Like so. And then, yeah, so there's a bit here that could do with the trim. Let's see if I can do that without cutting the um, chipboard cover. Right, I'm just going to 
pull it off there. There we go. And I think everything else is good. Yes. So that's our inside cover. So then we can um, put a mat on that. But we won't do that right now. I'm going to do the same thing for the back cover, but we're going to cut the tab off altogether because with this tab here is going to attach to our next page, but when our, our back cover is our last page, so we don't need a tab. So I can take a base page and I can trim this tab off and then attach it to there. So let's do that. Uh, I've got so many bits and pieces all around me. Let me get at my cutting board. I'm just going to line up that score line on here. So I'm cutting that whole tab off. Ooh, like that. Not not quite as not quite as good as I would have liked, but never mind. And then we can glue it onto here. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got my glue on there. Now I'm just going to try and line this up. And again, if I don't do a very good job, I can just trim it where I need to. This glue catches really quickly. What did I just do with my little... And that's our back page. Looking good. Right, so that's our back cover and that's our front cover. So then we grab another base page, this, this one here, and we're going to push that tab right in there. I'm not going to need that one for a minute. So I've got the tab all the way behind. And then I'm going to put some glue on just that bit of the tab. So we've got the we've got a tiny little gusset there, and that's just to give us a little bit of little bit of width in between the pages. It's not a lot because I I, I don't think that this is a going to be a really chunky album. So then I'm just going to put some glue along this tab. and attach this tab to this edge of this page somehow. There we go. Like so. So then when I open it up, that tab is attached to that page. And then we turn this one over and we can put some glue on this next tab here and push it out and attach another page. So here's our next page. So I'm going to fold that tab right over and then put it on the back and then attach this one to this one. Oh, I can pick it up. So I'm attaching this tab to this page like so. It's not very well lined up at all. Like so. And squash it down. And then do we have another one? We have another page. And we can just keep doing this for as many of the pages as we want to put in. Now I'm not entirely sure how many pages I'm going to put on so until I decide that I'm not going to attach my back piece so I'm just going to oops put some glue on this one I'll just do this for now I think and again I'm going to flip this one over and attach it to this one put glue on my finger Like so. Just like that. 
flip that over and make sure it's well adhered. And then flip this one over and make sure that one's good. Like so. So we now have our front cover and we've got these, this little gusset here and I might come along later and attach a bit of glue, um, attach a bit of something else to that, maybe another bit of cardstock. I don't know. I don't know. But that's, so you can see we've got the little gussets here. So on now I could attach another page in exactly the same way or um, if I was, if that was as many pages I wanted to do, then t I would just put some glue on this tab here and then attach it to my to my um, back cover like so, if that's what I wanted to do. But and then that would be our our, um, our album. But it's only three pages, and I feel like we can do more. But I'll do that later. What I'll do is I'll show you some of the things that I wanted to do inside our album. So we've got this page here and I've got some pockets and things. So let me show you. I've got a pocket that has got bats cut out of it. So where is that? I've cut a pocket with some bats. So that's this one here and I have cut my mat, the orange bit underneath out of black, um, black, out of silver cardstock, so um, glitter cardstock, so that's that one there, so that's one pocket, and then the another pocket is the spider, spider web pocket, and that's this one here, and again I have cut my um, back mat out of some of the silver glitter cardstock, and I think that's pretty funky, and then we have a plain bottom pocket, which is just this one here like this, and I've already put my mat on there to save a bit of time. And then we have these headstone pockets. So that's these ones here. I've cut two of these out because I think they're kind of funky. So I've put my mat on the front, which is out of this paper here. And then to cover up that section at the back, because the RIP is cut right through, I've just put a bit of that glitter cardstock again to make it look funky. And then I've got this one here as well. And then I've got some long pockets and things. But let's start with a pocket, shall we? So I've got I've already cut my mats out for my base pages. Get this out of the way. So I just need to decide where I want to put each of my base pages. How funky are they? So I'll get my other glue and put, we'll put one down, shall we? So I might put one of my silver pockets down on top of this one. So I'll just do this and then I'll show you another couple of ideas that I had. So I'm going to put this one on here. This glues it, gives you a little bit more time to snafu things around a little bit. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> Love that. Okay, that one there. And then we could put down, I don't know, I quite like the idea of this one. So the pockets are a little bit smaller than the base of the coffin so that you can pop them on like, like that. Isn't that nifty? Let's do that. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just here and here. Fold that over. Just trying to get that bottom tab to, to hold for a second, if it will. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue. Actually, I want to burnish that down a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to pop this pocket on here. So as you can see, this is pretty simple, simple album, but I think it's going to be so cute, especially in its own little coffin. 
Okay, so then I can just pop this one on here. Like so. Something like that. Like that. I managed to get glue all on the side. And give it a little burnish. And that's as, it's as simple as that. A little pocket there like so. And then for the next page, I'm going to use a belly band. So I've got two belly bands here. I've got a long one and the long belly band. I can pick it up. Here it is. I just can't pick it up. The long belly band goes from that edge to that edge. And then there's a short belly band. Where's that one? in here somewhere here it is the short belly band goes from side to side and you just have to line it up to where it matches and I think it's about there like that so you've got a, you can have either kind of a belly band so let's pop this to the side and let's go with I've got quite a few mats that I've already cut out. Let's go with some polka dots. No. The chevron, should I do that? Mmm, so many decisions. Maybe I will go with the polka dots. Okay, so then I just pop this down. Or I could put them, I could put my belly band down for No, I'll do it this way. It's easier. So I just put some glue on my mat. I've often wondered about whether I should get one of those ATG roller things. Does anybody have one? What do you guys think? Do you prefer to just use wet glue? Because you don't get any time to move those around because they're basically just double sided tape, aren't they? And I, I can't line things up properly the first time. I always have to wiggle it around a little bit, like now. Like that. And press that one down. Got to put something on there already. Oh well. Press that down. And then I've got glue all over my fingers. And that's probably what I'm doing, I was leaving glue all over there. And then I'm just going to decide where this is going to go. Like that looks about right. Okay, and put some glue on here. I've got two tiny little tabs, one on each end. One there and one here. And then I can just press this one on like so. Maybe over the touch. I don't, I can't tell. And like so. How's that? I've got to hold it up. I don't know if that's straight down there. Anyway, there we go. It's done now. So I've got a belly band there on that page. And then. I'm going to flip over to this page because I want to show you how you can do some doors. I'm hoping we can do some doors here. So I've got these two long pockets. Let's just put this to the side for a minute. I've got here, oops, upside down, Miss Jane. Okay, long pockets. Um, so they are half the size of the base page. So I'm hoping that we can put one on each side and make it into some little doors. So I've cut out two of these long pockets and four of the mats to go on them. So let's see those. So these are the long pockets. So we're only going to attach them on this long tab here. So I'm going to cut all these other tabs off. So I'll get out my cutting board. Clear a bit of space here. One here. So this would normally just be a pocket, but 
I'm going to make it into a flip, so that's why I'm cutting off these tabs. I need to bring it up a little bit and then over like that. Cut that one off. I'm going to keep the long one and I'm going to cut this bottom one off. So I'm just lining up where that score line is that my cricket has put on there. And then just slicing off that tab. That one. And that one. And the bottom one. Like so. Uh, I didn't do a very good job of that, so we might have to trim it. But I'll just wait until I've put them on so that... Um, well, let's have a look. If I line them up together, how did I do? I really need to trim a little bit more off this one. That seems about right. Okay. And then I'm going to bring back my album, which doesn't look much like an album right now, but we'll get there. Okay, so then I can attach one on one side and one on the other. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to attach the one that goes on this side first, right? Because we can always shuffle this one over a little bit if we need to. That's my thoughts anyway, and I have not, I never have that much success with doors because I can never seem to line them up that well, but... I keep persisting and I'm hoping for the best. Okay, so I'm going to line this up on the side of my page like so. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to put some glue on this side. And I'm going to line it up on the side here like so, but I'm also going to sort of make sure that it's lined up with this door here. See how we go. I think we did okay, you know. So, let's lift it up so I can see. Although I think it's too late. If I wanted to move it now, it would be too late. The glue's already stuck. So I'm going to stick that down on it. And then we have some doors. How cool is that? Now, how far out is the door from? See, I might have to trim it a little. Actually, I don't think I do. All right, so we can put a mat on the back here. And then I've got some mats for my doors. So let's start with that, shall we? I've got, I like these little boo doors. Had another one somewhere. Where'd you go? Lost a door. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to attach those to this side. Okay, so I've got my boo doors and they look fantastic. I'm really happy with those and I'm going to keep them shut with some of these circles so I cut a couple of those circles out three of them stuck together and then I put a hole in the middle and then I've got these bright orange brads and then I've got some of this black and white string so I've got to decide where my brads are going to go I think I think about here just like that probably could have used smaller ones 
but they're okay. I can live with that. So I'm going to grab a pencil and put a circle here and a circle here. And then I'm going to find something to cut a hole in. I've got a leather punch, or you could use your copper dial. I'm going to put a hole in there and a hole in here. This is so much fun. I never make cutesy albums, so this is this is a hoot. Okay, and then we can just pop this one straight in here. Like so. Pull those little feet down. Like that. Cute! Okay, and then this one I'm going to stread, stread, thread this bit of string through here, I think. I might need to trim it off a little bit. It's a little bit frayed. Right. I'm going to thread this through here. I'm going to try and thread it through. There we go. And then I'm just going to stick it down with a little bit of tape. A little bit of cellar tape here. Just to hold that down. So, and then we can thread this through the same hole, like so, bend it over like that, and then we'll just figure out how much string we need. Cool if you had some little funky Halloween charms. I do not, but that's okay. So I'll just trim it off about here. Okay, so that's our little doors done. So then I can just put some mats on the back of those doors and some mats on that page. So I've already cut some mats out. I've got one for that page and one for that door and then I can put a mat in the middle so that's one idea that I had so I will go ahead and do that but let's do on um, I'm missing a page here what should I put on this page um so I've got I've got that one that would be cool and what mat should I use Should I use the orange stripey one? Maybe the purple? I don't know. I'll go with the purple. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to put that on that page like that. That's fine. And then on this page, so many decisions. I've got to use these guys. Look at those. They are super. So I think maybe I'll have some ghosts and then this guy on here and then I have another one of these long pockets um, that we just use to make the doors so if I leave all the tabs on then this is a, a long pocket which we can of course attach to the side like so and we just need to put our mat underneath so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to go I think you've got the idea now about what you can do um, we've also got this little guy here so you can just keep adding pages and putting funky pockets and things on each of the pages and then when you when you think you've got enough pages um, you just attach this tab to the back cover and you have a complete album and then you can fill it up with groovy things um, so I think what I'll do is I'll go away and finish making my album and I will do another video with a bit of a flip through so you can see what it's like when it's finished and it's in its little box like so so I hope um, you enjoy the 
this um, little video and you enjoy making your own groovy coffin mini album in a little coffin and decorating it and embellishing it and um, thanks very much for watching I always appreciate it if you subscribe um, I always reply to comments if I see them <laughs> but I nearly always reply to comments I try to reply to comments <laughs> and a thumbs up would be great too so thanks very much for watching today guys and I really appreciate your time and I'll see you again soon bye for now bye